Hello YouTube, Yippie Kaye, and I'm testing out videos uh, with something that I found online called Draw My Life. I'm new to YouTube, so I don't know anything about it, but apparently that's a thing. Oh my gosh, Control A, delete, yeah. Okay, so where do we begin? My name, my real name is... Hannah Foster. No, wait, I just got married. Now I'm Hannah Murphy. This is my face. These are my teeth. And that's me. Yup. <laughs> uh, yeah, this isn't going to be very good because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just drawing stuff and trying to figure out YouTube. And this is the video I'm going to do to learn so we can learn together yay yay I love you guys love so yeah it all began a long time ago in well Dallas Dallas is where I'm from it's where I was born and where I was raised and it's in Texas and this is a really fast drawn Texas Ah, Dallas is right here. Yeah, I was born there. I was raised there, and I still live here. Um, I got my mama, which is a super awesome lady with dark hair, and that's her. And she's all like, "Hey, YouTube, what's up?" I don't probably approve being in the video, but that's fine. I love you guys too. She's got big boobies. I probably shouldn't say that because she might actually watch this. Hello, her name's Jeannie, and I got my dad. He's a goofy dude with glasses and no hair. And he's all like, what's up, YouTube? My name's Harry. I'm Hannah's dad. I probably also don't approve of being on YouTube. But that's okay, because I am a computer scientist. <laughs> yeah! Mama and Papa. Yeah. And I also got two big brothers. The oldest is Elliot. He is a vegan and so he's really really skinny. This is actually a realistic picture I'm drawing here. Um, that is his actual like that's what he really looks like. That's Elliot. He's my oldest brother. He's got a wife named Stephanie. And she's real pretty, and she's a vegan too, but that's okay, because she's not as scary skinny as Elliot is. She also has big boobs, but I shouldn't say that, because she might watch this too. Sexy. Okay. Yeah, I might get in trouble for this. That's Stephanie. And, yeah, Steph. They got two little girls. One, the oldest one, is Mia. Hello, Mia. She's a crazy redhead like me. And she also likes to draw like me. And she can draw a lot better than I can at this juncture of what I'm doing right here. Yeah, she is four years old. And she's freaking adorable. Yeah, and she's got a little sister named Ani. Hey, yo, Ani. Your face is all crazy and stuff, but that's because I'm not going to do this very well. Ani, hey, yo. She's a ghost. Yeah. Me and Ani. Yep, that's them. But that comes later on. My other oldest brother is named Lance. He's a cool dude, and so I'm going to draw him with sunglasses. Yeah. What's up, Lance? Cool dude, Lance. Oh, yeah. He's going to have a thumbs up, and he's going to ride on a skateboard. Which is funny, because he actually did used to ride on skateboards. 
Yeah, cool dude Lance. So, that's Lance. Hi, Lance. Lance is spelled like that. I did it! Yay! Okay, so that's my family. And uh, my mom used to be a teacher when I was a youngin. And, uh, hello kids. I have a ruler because that's what teachers have. That's what she used to do. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I remember we used to go into her class all the time and I would go up to the chalkboard and draw a lot of pictures and stuff. I don't remember if I actually did that, but it looks good for now with my crazy hair. The funny thing about this picture, I did used to have riffraff hair. Riffraff is you know, from whatchamacallit. Uh, uh, brain fart. It's late. I'm tired. Yeah. My god. I forgot the name. It doesn't matter. I did have riffraff hair. I drew pictures on a chalkboard, and the kids were all like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. You should be the best artist ever. And so I was like, Okay, that's my tablet wigging out there. I was like, okay, that's a thumbs up. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so yeah, from an early, early age, I was an artist. I sat and I draw a bunch of stuff and I'm like, do, 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 do. And I, I think I actually remember the first time when I picked up a pencil and that's probably just all in my head it wasn't really the first time but I was it was a crayon and I was like oh my freaking god I love this and I was like I don't know one not even I don't know anyway I was an artist ever since I was a little tiny speck in the world yeah that's me what really got me is when I was little and I used to watch cartoons with my brothers and stuff, and they're like, Oh my gosh, they're super awesome, Batman and Street Sharks and all that stuff. And we were like, Heck yeah, you are cool. Like, oh my gosh, this is Elliot. He's like, Hannah, you should draw that. And I was like, oh, Okay. Ah, that's actually not what happened at all. What really got me going is my brother Lance was a drawer too and he had a really cool picture and, I, and you know I was already an artist at the time but when I saw this picture here that he was drawing I was like oh no I thought I was the artist what am I gonna do so I started working really 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 hard and I started drawing a lot. And uh, so then I got better. Yeah. And uh, then I kind of screwed around in high school. And I did not do very well because I was ADD. And nobody really understood that. Or at least they pretended like they didn't. So I had no idea what I was doing. My mom, being a teacher, was like, what the heck are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. All I really knew how to do was draw. But, uh, yeah, that didn't really, it didn't really help out much. Especially since I never really did my work that much. Because I didn't really care about anything. So I used to just kind of screw around in school and I would make comic books and stuff. And I think Murphy might be home, which means I have to stop because I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, comic books, I used to draw all those. And uh, yeah, me and my friends used to pretend that we were superheroes. And I'm really sad there for some reason. So we were superheroes and I drew those in my comic books and <laughs> that was cool. Did I start with high school? I shouldn't have done that. 
<laughs> Way back in time. No, in high school, I was not a superhero. In high school, I met Murphy. He shaved his eyebrows off when I first met him. And I was like, whoa, what's up, dude? But at the time, I uh, think I was all like, what's up, bra? I have no idea who you are. And that wasn't on my mind. What was on my mind were other things because teenagers have angst. Teenage. Age. Age. Okay, I give up. Anyway, uh, when I met him the second time, we actually met at a freaking anime convention. I was like, what's up, dude? And he was all like, hey, bra. Except he didn't call me bra. And then we kind of we got together and uh, I was playing video games because I was all shy so I had you know an iPad iPod back in the old days and I was playing uh, something on it I don't remember and he was all like dude I like games and uh, I was like dude I kind of like you and uh, then yeah, we we fell in love. Yeah, so we grew up together, had a super awesome life. Then we went to college, and I found out that college really sucks. I was doing animation there, but it just wasn't what I liked to draw. I did not feel right, and Murphy at the same time was getting really really depressed and simultaneously I was getting really really depressed and I didn't know what was going on none of us did so we just kind of skipped school all the time and played video games with Nathan and I'm giving him a hat because he just won a hat in a, a claw machine and it was funny and that's all he wears now. <laughs> anyway, we skipped school, played video games with Nathan, drank full throttle, and that was our lives. And then it got worse. I ended up dropping out of school because I just did not enjoy my time there. And I felt like I couldn't do anything right. I couldn't finish my assignments because I didn't like them. I felt like I couldn't make any friends there because I was so concerned about my assignments. And here's me being emo. <laughs> that was an accident, but it makes sense. Yeah, and so I was all alone. Murphy had already dropped out because he was sad too. And it wasn't working well. So I ended up staying in a room alone at Murphy's house. I moved out of my house and Murphy had gone to work for his dad and so I just kind of sat there and did nothing all day. And then my friend John came and kind of lived with us for a while because he was also feeling sad. So we all felt sad together. <laughs> this story sucks. <laughs> Uh, but things got better because Murphy proposed to me and he's all like, ah, it was terrible. We were listening to Unknown Henson, which is the Squidbillies guy, and it was in his truck and uh, we were joking around like oh, we always did and he was talking about proposing to me and I was like, you better do it right and get down on your knees and take me for a nice date and stuff. And he was like, ha, 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 will you marry me? And I was like, shut up. And he was all like, ah, I'm being serious. And I was like, oh my god, yes. And then when he got home, he was like, that whole marriage thing? I was just kidding. And I was like, screw you. You're marrying me whether you want to or not. So that happened. And we got married. But first, we moved out. I uh, went to work for a company, which I should not name because they are terrible. But... Uh, let's just say it was awful and because of that I never ever got to draw anymore and 
Murphy and I were still suffering from depression, so things got sadder. We had moved into an apartment, but we were just all alone all the time, getting sadder and sadder and sadder. I ended up quitting Target because it was so bad that I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't draw. I couldn't do anything I wanted. All I did every single day was deal with really annoying people and get angry and sad. And yeah, this story sucks. So then, um, out of nowhere, the honky tonk that Murphy worked at, his boss was like, hey, why don't she come work for us? And, uh, you know, Murphy was like, oh, I don't know about that. And his dad was all like, I don't know about that. And, uh, but he was like, it'll just be for a little while. So they were like, Hannah, okay, you can work for us for a little while until you can find another job. And I was like, sure, whatever, as long as I don't have to go back to Target or something. As long as I can get some time to draw. Because this is only open for uh, three days a week. And so I had a lot of time to draw. And I was like, okay, that seems like a pretty good deal. So I took it. And I ended up really, really liking it to my surprise. I was always such a shy person in my life. So, taking on a job at a nightclub is a very strange thing, and I was really scared. And it's one thing I told my husband. When I first started there, I was so scared because I thought that the customers would be crazy. And uh, that terrified me. Nowadays, I realize that they are crazy, and that's why I like them. So, that happened there. I was only supposed to be there for at the maximum a year. No, not even. No, not even a year. I was supposed to be there until I got another job doing something that I didn't like, probably. But it turned out that I was so good at my job that they were all like, whoa, Hannah, you're super awesome at this. You're gonna keep working for us. And I was like, yay! This job was perfect for me. I really enjoyed it. And uh, it gave me time to draw and to write and do all the things that I like to do. But not only that, it gave me my first professional gig where I got to draw the logo for our place. Again, another thing that was suggested by my boss, Danny, and people just ran with it and I thought oh you know they're just being nice because I work there and stuff but uh, I found out at the same time they were they had hired a whole team of professional logo drawers <laughs> shows how professional I am artists you know ad ad advertising artists and uh, in the end they chis they chisen they chose my logo over the other ones because their logo was insane. Mine was like the original one, but more modern and not as busy and stuff, as you can see here. Yeah, that's not what it looks like at all, but it's the main idea. So I had my first gig, yay! But because of chemicals and brain and stuff, Murphy and I were still really, really depressed. And it just got worse and worse and worse until Murphy had to move out back into his parents' house and I was left all alone. And it really sucked. But I had, it got better because we got Samson, the naked cat. I always said, Murphy, if I'm going to be doing this alone and stuff I need to have a friend and so <laughs> we got a naked kitty he was born the day that actually I think it was the Super Bowl that was here in Dallas and he's naked and uh, it was snowing that day which is funny 
because he's naked and they're Canadian, which doesn't make any sense. Anyway, all of his brothers and sisters died, but he was the one who survived. He was the biggest one and the coolest one, and that's why we named him Samson. Ever since he was a little tiny kitten, I was good friends with him, and he's good friends with me. He's still my friend. Yeah, I sound like a crazy-ass lady, but it's okay, because that's true. So, uh, you know, it was just... I. <sighs> It was bad for a while. I had to go to a therapist and I don't like doctors or therapy or anything like that. So I was just kind of like, ah, whatever, you know, blah, blah, emo hair and sitting down in a chair. But this doctor was actually pretty cool. And uh, he's like, hey, I like sci-fi stuff like Dune and reading crazy books like Stephen King and stuff. And I was like, whoa, dude. That's actually kind of cool. And uh, he happened to be Murphy's psycho dude, too. And uh, one day, Murphy was like, Hey, has she talked about her art at all yet? And the doctor's like, Nah, you know, whatever. She didn't say anything about that. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, I guess he's had a lot of people like, Oh, I draw and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just sort of a casual type of thing. But, uh, he went and checked out my stuff, and he was like, whoa, this chick can actually kind of draw. And, uh, so, he hooked me up with some jobs, and I got more work doing stuff like books and stuff. In the meantime, though, to make my brain better, I joined roller derby. I was, I got so depressed one day when the, Car <laughs> the Kardashians actually came to work and I happened to have a breakdown that very same day. And, uh, so I went, I was, it was about a year till the wedding and I heard on the radio there's a bridal show or something. I got, you anyway, know, I got the weekend off from work and I was going to go to this bridal show just so I had something to do so I wouldn't have to think about being depressed. When all of a sudden, uh, out of nowhere on the radio, I also heard there's a roller derby term, 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 oh my gosh, I'm, I can't think or talk right. There's roller derby going on. <laughs> tournament. Tournament. Yeah, there's roller derby tournament coming on. And I was like, hey, you know, I always wanted to see roller derby. I'll go. So me and my friend Jason, who is a polar bear. No, he's a real person. But we went and checked it out. And we were like, whoa, this is awesome. And uh, so I got to talk into some other roll derby people. And they are like, hey, you know, we have a league where it's just, you know, cool. Not like, what do they call it? Ugh, it's late. We have a league and it's for... Uh, recreation. That's it. Rec League. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll try it out. And so it just so happened that Jason had some old skates from like the 50s or something. They're really, really old, really bad. And um, it was awesome though. He was like, hey, I got just about everything you need to see if you want to do this. So I was like, okay, cool. Thanks. And I was really, 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 really bad. And it was frustrating. But eventually I got it. And so I joined Rodeo Derby. And it, it really turned my life around. It got me really, it got my confidence up to where everything was just suddenly cool again. And... <laughs> So then I started back on, I decided to make my artwork public again. And I went back to DeviantArt, which is something I hadn't been on in years. And so I started doing my pixel art again, because that's what I used to do back in the old day. And I do a lot of roller derby artwork, or at least, you know, I try to. I don't post it all the time, but that's what I do. And uh, things just kept getting better and better from there. Murphy and I got married, and it was super awesome. And uh, 
and then we uh, both moved out of the apartment and we moved back to his parents that's just temporary though <laughs> we're nerds oh my god and uh so then uh i started watching youtube and uh i was like you know maybe i could use this to kind of figure out what the heck I want to do with my artwork since I have no idea. So I started up my Facebook and uh, you know my DeviantArt. My brother Elliot, he uh, made my website and uh, then this is where we are today. My life's really not very interesting. I'm I'm not a juggler from Russia or anything like that. <laughs> but this is what I got. And maybe I'll do something better later. But this is just me practicing making videos. So, hope you enjoy. Love you guys. Beep, bop, boop, boop, bop, bop, boop, boop, bop, bop, boop, boop, boop.